Last night, the Los Angeles Lakers selected Dalton Connect 17th overall, and a lot of people are saying he was the steal of the draft. Many mock drafts had him going at least in the lottery or even in the top 10, but he fell all the way to 17 for the Lakers. And I think one of the reasons for that is his unk status. He's 23 years old, a fifth year senior, but that's fine if you're the Los Angeles Lakers. They're looking for players who can help them win right now, and I think Connect might be that type of guy. I saw that JJ Redick was really excited about this pick. He was already drawing up plays to get Connect open for three point shots. I mean, Connect is a guy who has a pretty similar skill set to JJ Redick, a knockdown shooter, not a great defender, but I'm excited to see him on the Los Angeles Lakers. I don't know a lot about college ball, but it seems that he is getting a lot of hype right now, which is interesting to see. Now, checking out our team player options here in LA. Christian Wood accepted his player option. So did Cam Reddish. And D'Angelo Russell also picked up his player option. LeBron declined, which I think is expected. And Jackson Hayes declined his as well. Now, with D'Angelo Russell declining his player option, I've seen trade rumors involving the Los Angeles Lakers. Basically, it seems like D'Lo is no longer going to be a Laker, whether he declines that player option and enters free agency and joins a new team, or if he accepts that player player option and then eventually ends up getting traded. So basically what I'm saying is we're going to look at trading D'Lo. And to be honest with you, I don't want to trade D'Lo. I think D'Lo's a great basketball player. He has his shortcomings, but I feel like he stepped it up in the playoffs for LA over this past season. I don't think there's much to be mad at with D'Angelo Russell, but you know what? We're going to field offers because that seems to be what the Lakers want to do. However, I'm not really seeing any trades that I love at the moment. So I think we're going to chill for now. I mean, we could trade for hard but like bro he's 34 he's probably gonna go down to like an 83 overall over the offseason I just don't really love that move either so what we're gonna do is hold on to D'Lo for now but he will be getting moved on from eventually now we've got to bring back LeBron James I saw that the Lakers were gonna offer him like a three-year contract so I'll just go ahead and do that I've seen that based on reports I try to keep things as realistic as possible actually I'm lying bro I make crazy crazy trades in these videos let's be honest but if I see reports out there that you know say certain things I'll try to at least go by those so there you go we bring back LeBron on an extension I'm also trying to bring back Andre Drummond but he accepted a different offer who else could we sign we could sign like Kyle Lowry I mean he's kind of old but on a minimum wouldn't be bad we could go after Alec Burks try to bring back Torian Prince Prince was solid for the Lakers he's a wing he can shoot he can defend did we get Drummond is that who that's it we just got yeah we did get Drummond I thought he accepted a different offer but I guess not welcome to the team Drummond I'll offer John Wall a minimum I've been seeing that he's trying to get back in the league it's sad that Wall isn't in the league man it's just really unfortunate THT I wouldn't mind THT all right there we go we get back a couple guys that on qualifying offers we bring in a few new players but overall this team is not great as of right now in my opinion we have LeBron and AD which means we should be able to stay afloat until the trade deadline but then from there we're going to need to make a lot of moves if we want to have any chance of competing for a title in my opinion also in year number one I don't really expect Dalton Connect to be getting a ton of minutes for us he might get a few off the bench if he's lucky but that's really about it also I do want to go ahead and trade Gabe Vincent he barely played for the Lakers last season I'm also going to trade Cam Reddish Max Christie just because man we need picks desperately here in LA I've seen rumors that they want to go after a star and if we want to do that then we're going to have to have some draft cap at our disposal will somebody throw me a first for Jalen Hood Shafino last year the Lakers had the 17th pick and they picked Jalen Hood Shafino it seems like based on what everybody's been saying Dalton Connect is a big step up from JHS I did not like the JHS pick last year for the Lakers oh we ended up with Bronny as well we picked him with the first pick in the second round so that's funny the second round hasn't gone down at the time of this recording it's happening at 4 p.m today I'm definitely going to be 
tuned in. I'll have a Bronny video out for y'all, assuming he does end up getting drafted, and I am assuming that he will get drafted by the Los Angeles Lakers. Based on what I've been seeing today, I saw some Bleacher Report article or rumor or whatever talking about how the Lakers are likely to draft Bronny. Seems like that might be the destination for LeBron's son. So there you go. We could see Bron and Bronny playing together, which, you know, might just break the internet. We're here at the deadline, and honestly, we're a little better than I expected. 28 and 23 as of right now. We're going to go ahead and jump to estimated wins added. It looks like LeBron and AD have been incredibly impactful, as you would expect. Andre Drummond has actually been really good. I think he's been starting at center for us thus far. THT's been decent. D'Lo, not as good as I would have hoped. And then it kind of falls off from there. Dalton Connect, oh my gosh, he hasn't even gotten any minutes. That's unfortunate. Maybe he'll find some minutes after we make these trades though so let's go ahead and get it started by looking at D'Lo offers earlier I did a trade package of D'Angelo Russell Vando and a first so we're going to try that again and see if we get better offers wow we could get Mikhail who already got traded from New York to Sacramento but he's putting up some really good numbers for the Kings Oh, we could also go after Lori Markinen, get a better center here too and Walker Kessler but DeJounte Murray, he's a guy who's been in Lakers rumors. I feel like we got to go for DeJounte. Now, I actually am kind of intrigued at the idea of trying to flip DeJounte Murray and get a crazy third star. You know, maybe I am I got my hopes a little too high right now. Oh, my gosh. Yo, yo, Cade Cunningham, Trey Young's available, Drew and KP. Hold on, give me a second to cook. Give me a second to cook. We're taking Drew and KP because, bro, KP and AD, oh, my gosh. It'd be beautiful. We're going to move AD to four, play KP at five, right? Then what we're going to do is we're going to call the Pistons, right, about Cade Cunningham. That's right. We're going to go after Cade Cunningham. And the thing is, Cade's still on his rookie deal, so we could really just do, like, uh, Taylor Horton Tucker, Jake LaRavia. Or, no, we're not doing Dalton. I was trying to throw Jake LaRavia there, but that's not going to get us to uh, – the trade financially. So you know what? We'll do Rui. I did not mean to have trade override on. Let me turn that off. Sometimes I, I've said this in previous videos, but I download like share scenarios to have all the draft picks accurate and everything. And people have trade override on because they need to use trade override to get all the picks where they need them to be. But anyway, I'm kind of rambling. Let's go ahead and call up the Pistons again. No, not the Pelicans. Oh my gosh, Danny. Can we click the right button? All right, let's try this now. They want KP for Gary Trent. We're not doing that. But I will throw in. I did not mean to do a second. We'll do a first. Two first. They're going to say no. All right, that's fine. I got a third one. Okay, they still say no. That's fine. I got another one. Boom. Boom. Oh my gosh, I, I, it's just too easy, bro. It's really too easy. We got Cade Cunningham here in Los Angeles. And now we're going to move off of Drew Holiday because Holiday's great in real life, but I bet he's not putting up good numbers here in 2K. Yep, I called it. So we're going to trade Drew Holiday. We want an elite starting two guard. That's exactly what we're looking for right here. We could get Derek White. That would be kind of perfect, but I don't actually, would it be perfect? I don't know. We could go Laurie Markin and Walker Kessler. Oh, that's actually really good. We could go a men for defense. I think I'm going to go Lori and Walker here just because this is such a great offer. I feel like I can't pass it up. And then can we move Braun to two? Yeah, we'll have Braun at the two, Lori at the three, KP at five. Yeah, yeah. So it's going to be Cade, Braun, Lori. AD, poor Zingas. Then off the bench, we'll have Walker Kessler as the backup center. We've got way too many bigs here, so let's go ahead and make a trade to bring in somebody else. CJ McCollum off the bench would actually be kind of interesting, but you know what? We'll go, uh, you know what? We'll go CJ. What numbers is he putting up? Uh, yeah, he's been all right. We'll go CJ McCollum here. We're going to slide McCollum over to, no, actually, we'll play him at point guard. We'll have Dalton Connect as the backup two guard. We'll have, is LaRavia cool for backup four? What's he been putting up? He's been fine. So we'll have him be the backup four. Now all we need is a backup small forward. Let's do Luke Kennard, John Wall. Hopefully we can find somebody decent to run some minutes at the three. Sam Hauser, the sharpshooter. Yeah, we'll bring him in. He's shooting over 40 from the three-point line. 
And there we go. Now Dalton Connect is going to be getting some minutes if we make this a 10-man. Why is Mr. Hands in his pocket still the coach? I know they don't have JJ in the game, but but come on. Let's get him out of here. You know what? We're, we're, we'll replace him with a coach that is similar to JJ. Maybe just an average coach, you know. This guy's B, B minus, so that's fine, you know. We'll just go for somebody a little above average because that's probably where I think JJ will be at as a head coach, but I don't really know ball, so who, who knows how JJ will be. Maybe he'll be the greatest rookie head coach in basketball history. But anyway, we're going to jump to the end of the season here and hopefully we can win a title. It'll kind of add to the lore, you know, the fact that we have Bronny James on this team as well. You know, LeBron and Bronny would win a championship. That'd be kind of fire. Father son duo winning a title. I mean, sure, the son isn't really playing, but it's whatever, man. It'd still be really cool. Dalton Connects is going to be getting minutes and that'll be a cool little storyline as well. Well, having our rookie making an impact. Yeah, overall, I'm excited for the team. Let's go ahead and jump to the end of the year. There goes Joker winning an MVP award. Alex Saar takes home the rookie of the year for the Washington Wizards. Any Lakers on All-NBA? There goes Anthony Davis. That's what I'm talking about, AD. And we won 48 games, but I think our team is better than our record suggests. Round one. Oh, of course. Of course. Of course. It had to be the Denver Nuggets. But guess what, chat? We're ready for this one. Let's go ahead and get into it, man. We're about to cook them. Yeah. Yeah, Denver. What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong, Denver? Get up. Oh, my gosh. Y'all got cooked. Next up, it'll be the Clippers. Oh, oh, no. Nope, nope, nope. Y'all are cooked. Y'all are cooked. 3-2. Yep, yep, yep. We run LA, man. Next up, it'll be the Pels. Oh, come on. Come on, Big Z. Come on, Big Z. Okay, Big Z might cook us. Big Z might cook us. We really made it through the gauntlet of NBA teams, or well, it was really just the Nuggets. Just to get cooked by Z? Yep, that's exactly what happened. We got cooked by Z. All right, man. Lose the series in five games. Braun wants to retire. Come back. Oh, they overrode it when they made the roster. Braun is gone. Look on, James. Oh, man. We got to do it without my glorious king. How is this going to be possible? Oh, gosh. That's actually a huge hit to the team. Oh, no. Yeah, this is really bad. Okay, so first off, first order of business. Shout out, baby Keem. I think we're going to go ahead and trade away CJ McCollum here. He's just old. That's really the only reason. We could trade him for the third pick. That doesn't sound too bad right now, but we need players, not picks. I'm not going to lie to you. We need people who can play for us because I don't know what we're going to do without the king. Actually, I know exactly what we're going to do without the King. I just remembered we're the Lakers. So if we clear up cap space, we get every good basketball player. So that's exactly what we're going to do here. Uh, yeah, Laurie Markkinen, I'm sorry, buddy. I didn't want to have to do this. We, get, we just got the second pick for Laurie Markkinen. That's awesome. Okay, now we will have to pay Cade this summer, which is definitely an issue. Uh, I don't want to pay Cade, but, you know, it is what it is. We will be keeping Dalton Connect around because, you know, he's on a cheap contract. So everything will be cool with Dalton. Now, can we trade our guy KP for somebody cheap? We could do Jared Allen, who's only making 20, which is a lot less than Kristaps Porzingis. And then can I just trade Allen for, you know, a rookie or something, somebody on their rookie deal? Nemhard, Nemhard, he's only making $2 million. Bro, I don't know why, but just doing these rebuilds lately, like, I always enjoy doing the rebuilds, but lately, bro, it, it's just been hitting different. I don't know why. I've just been having a great time. So, you know, there you go. There's your daily dose of positivity, I guess. I'm feeling great right now. So we could go and draft, uh, what, what's his name? Oh, Cooper Flag. Yep, yep, that's what I was thinking of. We could go gra draft Cooper Flag here. I think that's actually going to be the move. We got the second overall pick. So we'll just go ahead and uh, go New York. Oh, no, they got the first pick in the second round. We want the first pick in the first round. They want the third pick. They'll give us Tyus Jones. I'm good on that. However, I will give you, uh, I don't know. Who will I give them? I, yeah, I'm not going to lie. I don't know. I give you a first round pick. Yeah, y'all want a second? Cool. We're moving up to one. Now, number three, I don't really want. I'm cool with Cooper Flag. I mean, of course, he's Cooper Flag, right? I would love to have Cooper Flag, but I don't really want this third pick. So I think I'm just going to trade it away. We get Neesmith here. Neesmith's a cool player. He has some good dunks in the playoffs but I think I'm just going to trade him to get some more picks and yeah that's pretty much just going to be the game plan here we're going to clear up as much salary as possible 
go out and be the Lakers in free agency. <laughs> it's really that simple, man. We're the Lakers. We'll be able to get good basketball players. Draft day. Let's go ahead and get Cooper Flag. Welcome to the squad, Cooper. This is this rebuild is taking a weird turn. I don't know what's going on here. We'll pick up the team options. Jake. You know what? I'll pay you, Jake. That's fine. We'll pay Jake Laravia. Actually, no, we won't, bro. <laughs> get off my team, big dog. Can we trade him for a pick? Yes, we can. Phenomenal. And now we're going to have to extend the qualifier off for Cade's way and free agency yeah I knew this free agency class was pretty good so that's why I wanted to have some cap space here okay so we can afford to sign a max free agent and keep the cap hold on Cade Cunningham so that he'll still be a restricted free agent so that's exactly what we're going to do here we're going to offer Donovan Mitchell we're going to land him and then we'll keep the cap hold on Cade because I think I did the math my math was wrong okay so instead yeah I'm not gonna lie <laughs> Anthony Davis. Oh, hoo -hoo! we could trade AD for KD. That's kind of crazy, but I don't think I want to do that. We could get J Dub, but then we'd be making the Thunder like stupid. So I don't want to do that. Kevin Durant is insane, bro. Kevin Durant is actually insane. But yeah, oh, dude, dude, that's so tough to pass up on. We could get Alex Saar, the former number two pick. Is uh, Wembenyama available? I've been trying to trade for Wemby like the past like 12 videos, and I haven't been able to do it. Let's see if we can do it today. He's untouchable. Dag nabbit. All right, bro. <laughs> Dag nabbit. Well, what, what is Anki Appen about? Dag nabbit. All right, bro. Um, yeah, I kind of just want to trade Anthony Davis to, you know, get his money off the book, but I really don't want to give him to OKC, but I love the trade for uh, Dub, J Dub. So, like, so, like, what in the world? world am I supposed to do here bro like actually oh my gosh yeah this is tough because I want to go after uh I of course I want to go after Donovan Mitchell so what do we do here we could go Mikhail or we could trade him to the who had Alex Sar yeah the wizard wait where's that offer now oh yeah I had to throw in picks if I wanted Alex Sar now do I believe Alex Sar is going to become him that that's kind of the big question I guess I guess we're going to bank on Alex Sar becoming him. This could be one of the worst trades in NBA history I just made right there. But you know what? We're kind of all in on stupidity at this point. So, yeah, we'll go uh, Kuzma for Duran, And then we'll sign Mitchell, keep the cap hold on Cade, renounce rights on everybody else. Now, the big question is, do we have enough for another player now? Like Brunson, uh, could we land you? We'll throw you a bag, player option. Okay, okay, okay. Now things are getting interesting, but we still can't afford Cade. Okay. So is there any way we clear up the money for Mr. Cunningham? I don't think so. Do we let go of Cade for Mitchell and Brunson? I think we do. I think we do. Wait, can we match all this? This isn't going to work. So you know what, Cade? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. you got to go. So we land Brunson and Mitchell and Cunningham is gone. We didn't have the money. It, it was really that simple. We just couldn't afford to bring back Cade Cunningham. I'm really sorry, but it's just how the cookie crumbles sometimes, man. You know what I mean? Now, one thing I like about some of these rosters that I've been downloading or the share scenarios or whatever is that the contracts are more realistic. Like you, not everybody wants, you know, 20 zillion dollars to play for your basketball team. It definitely makes it a little bit easier to at least fill out your rotation with decent players. And speaking of decent players, we got a lot of decent players here in Los Angeles. This team is kind of insane. And I plan to do a lot more with it at the trade deadline. Dalton Connect will probably begin some minutes for us this year, I think because did, did he go up I didn't check his progression we'll have to see because I know I made this video about Dalton connect or whatever just because bro there was so much hype around him like oh he's up to an 80 too that's tough but yeah there's a lot of hype around him I saw a video of Stephen A talk about him getting drafted with a bunch of views on YouTube and then I just saw everybody on social media talking about Dalton connect and I was like oh shoot well you know as a YouTuber I better drop a video on this dude doing a little rebuild so here we are you know recording the rebuild and everything everything so what we're gonna do is simulate to the deadline like i said we'll make our trades and hopefully we'll cook up a championship team win a title and get out of here because i still got a lot more rebuilds to do i want to do a spurs rebuild i want to do a grizz rebuild i want to do what well, there was another team the wizards with alex Sar. bro there's so many rebuilds i'm trying to do right now 
All right, let's see what we can do here. 33 and 18 right now. We're going to see if we can make some trades to further improve the roster. Now, one issue with this team is we have a lot of players that are on rookie scale deals, which means there isn't exactly a ton of opportunity to maneuver and improve the roster. If you get what I'm saying, just because financially we're not really there, if that makes sense. But, oh man, do we have to trade one of our max players to even get anywhere? I, I don't know. Let, let me see where the rotation is looking like we have Terrence Davis starting at small forward well that's definitely a problem uh we could move Cooper to small forward here have him start he doesn't go down and overall that could work a little bit better we've got way too many shooting guards though oh yeah because we got Nemhard. well we could fix that by moving Nemhard to point guard or 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 we could do something a little more interesting we could do Donovan Mitchell and some picks see if we could get like a good wing good big oh man the offers are crazy right here we could bring back Cade and get Franz which you know is kind of tempting I'm not gonna lie to you we could get AD right back Oh, man. You know, as the king of realistic rebuilds, I really don't want to do this. <laughs> um, but, you know, it is very tempting. Should we do this? Should we just go get AD right back, bro? Should we just... <laughs> All right, bro. All right, welcome back, AD. Long time no see, Mr. Unibrow. That voice crack was diabolical, but you know we leave him in here, so it's cool. Uh, off the bench, yeah, we're chilling. We'll do a 10-man here. We have Connect. We have uh, Luke Cornett. We need a backup PG, I think, so we'll do Cornett, Brandon Boston, first rounder. Hopefully, we can just find somebody decent. Davion and a good pick. Cool. Don't mind if I do. Davion will be backup PG. We don't have a backup small forward though i don't really care though so i think this is how we're gonna run it well brunson nemhart flag davis duran and kessler sar kispert mitchell connect oh man dalton connect let's see if you can lead the way and we can go ahead and win this nba championship now let's be honest he's not going to be leading the way but i don't expect him to be like i mean maybe i'm underestimating bro but i don't expect him to be like a superstar or anything off the rip with the lakers i don't think anybody does right but or, well obviously but I, I what i meant to say was i don't expect him to be like a starter but maybe he plays you know 10 15 minutes is that what i'm supposed to expect like i said i don't know a lot about the draft so bear with me here but is he that good where he's gonna be a guy who's a six man or what are we thinking about dalton connect any of my ball knowers you know draft knowers let me know in the comments please when Ben Yama with an MVP, I got to do a Spurs rebuild soon. I'm going to with uh, Stefan Castle. I'm really excited to, you know, build around Wen Yama because, you know, he's Victor Wen Yama. We won 52 games on the season, making us the number four seed. Hopefully we can lock it in for this year's playoffs. Round one, sweep the Warriors. Round two, it'll be OKC. We're down two to one. I forgot they were the Thunder for just a second, if you get what I'm saying. I forgot uh, the, the extent of their powers, how good they are at basketball. So we're going to make this an eight man. Sorry, Dalton. You're not going to get any minutes for this one just because we really got to focus against this team. And I'm hoping Anthony Davis's size can be a problem for Oklahoma City. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. We get a win here and give us one more. Give us game five. Then we have a commanding 3-2 lead over OKC. That'll be big for us. Thunder get off to a great start in this game, but we are still in the rear view. There you go. There you go. All right, Thunder get the lead back. Oh, oh that's not looking good. All right, we lost. We're down three to two here. I just did Simcast live, bro. Nobody uses this. Remove it from the game. I, I promise you. It's the big 2024. We're not using Simcast live, dog. All right, let's jump back in here. Hopefully, we can get a dub here. We're playing decent. We're, we're behind, though, still. We're still behind. Lakers Nation. Oh, my gosh. All right. Back to the drawing board. Another offseason coming up, and I'm not going to lie, Anthony Davis, he might get traded again. The, the most realistic rebuild of all time is occurring today, but the reason is AD usually regresses, so I don't want to see him regress, right? And, I, well, at least I don't want to see him regress on my team, so I, I might mess around and trade, bro. We also have to pay some people who are hitting restricted free agency, Team's going to get expensive quick, which is never fun. Bronny's hitting free agency. You better take that $4 million or whatever was on the qualifying offer, dog. Jalen Duran will offer. Kessler will offer. There we go. And Saban Lee, I'm not matching. We're cool. We're cool, man. Welcome back, Duran. Welcome back, Kessler. Oh, we could bring back D'Lo. Man, I love D'Lo. I want to have him back on my team, please. Yeah, there we go. Three-year contract. Nice, nice. 
Brogdon? I love Brogdon. Well, let me have him on my team. Nice. Okay. And then center, Drummond? I, I love Drummond. All right. We're all good, man. Bronny, take that qualifying. Thank you. And Anthony Davis doesn't even go down. So, AD, you might be sticking around, my guy. Let's go. All right, cool. So, we are all good to go for this season, I think. I love our additions. We got Malcolm Brogdon, D-Loading. Like, we're looking good here for sure. Anthony Davis is still at the top of his game. We're going to make this a 10-man rotation. We'll have Dalton Connect getting some minutes. He'll be in the mix. Davion, we don't really need you anymore because now we have D'Angelo Russell. We actually need a backup small forward. So I'm going to try and trade Davion. Ooh, Derek Jones. Perfect. We'll bring in Derek Jones Jr. He'll bring some highlights to Los Angeles. Oh, they want to play Kispert over Jones? That's not ideal. Well, who's that power forward? Who all do we have? We've got AD and so um, how do we do this? We can make this an 11 man, I guess, for now. That's fine, I guess. Yeah, we can just do it that way. I think that'll be fine for now. And we'll go ahead and start simulating. Hopefully, we're like top of the top this year, you know, near the top of the conference playing incredible basketball because we need to solidify ourselves as like the team to beat. And we just haven't been able to do that throughout this video so far. Right now, we're on a historical winning streak. We have won 16 in a row. The team's really hitting their stride, so I'm not going to make any trades. We're number one in the conference. We're winning a lot of games in a row right now, so there's no need to change anything in my mind at least. So hopefully, this is going to work out, and we'll win our title here in Los Angeles. Win banner number 18. Season is over with. Luka wins the MVP. I don't think we'll have any Lakers on All-NBA. I was running that 11-man rotation all season, keeping everybody well-rested and ready to go for the postseason. I don't even know if we'll change it, though, just because we were winning so much. So unless we start struggling, I'm going to just keep the 11-man rotation. It's working so far. Conference Finals, we got the Mavs. Thank goodness this isn't the Thunder. But they do have Keegan Murray now. I love that pickup for the Dallas Mavericks. It's a 1-1 series. They take a 2-1 lead. We tie it up come on give us game five dang it bro dang why they got to make things so difficult let's make it an eight man rotation or nine man or something we'll just shorten it up and yeah jump in the simcast for game six season on the line come on guys don't do this again last year against the thunder i understand i feel like we weren't ready for prime time but yeah this year we're ready for prime time there you go good close to that game fellas we played well in the second half and now we really got to dial it in we'll shorten this up even more game seven man the two best words in sports if we win if not they're the worst words in sports looks like we're gonna win so they're the two best words in sports we're moving on to the nba finals taking on the indiana pacers led by halliburton now we took nemhard from them so I think we should be okay they do look good though Ben Matherin I think they had uh yeah they had Dylan Harper they've still got Siakam this is a good team but we're gonna win game one they take game two and three oh don't do this to me 2k don't do this to me 2k we're gonna jump in the same cast for game four this is essentially a must win you don't want to go down three to one in the finals please Please, please, fellas. No, no, no. Okay, we're coming back. No, not really. Yeah, we might be cooked. It's a six-point game. Yeah, we lost. We lost. We're cooked. We're cooked. Yep, the Pacers. Okay, we win a game. I mean, you know what? Maybe there's some hope here. I don't know if we can come back from down 3-1. Why is it saying give less minutes to Nemhard? Did bro decide to switch teams because we were losing? Shout out KD. Oh, my gosh. Did we win this one? Oh, <laughs> Here we go. Alex Saar had a big game. And guess what? We're going 7. 3-1 comeback from AD. LeBron called up AD and was like, don't give up. I've done this before. You can do it too. Yeah, come on. Come on, fellas. Don't give up here. No, no, no. <sighs> Dude. It's okay. Y'all frustrate me so much. We could have just lost in game five and I could have kept it pushing, but instead y'all made this go seven and then we lose. Yeah, yeah, bro. <sighs> All right. Time for the off season. Let's lock in real quick. Okay, so we're here at Team Player Options. I skipped right past the draft because we didn't have to worry about the draft. Bronny's going to get the qualifying offer. Wow, Bronny's a 79 at this point. That's actually not bad. We got to re-sign Derek Jones. I'll give him a three-year. And then Bronny, he wants kind of a lot, but you know what? Just for the vibes, we'll give Bronny the money. And then um, from there, we could do like Matisse on a minimum. Cool. Okay, so we get Matisse. And that'll pretty much wrap up our free agency. We're pretty much chilling. Anthony Davis doesn't go down anymore. Alex Saar. Okay. 
so here's the thing, right? We've got Anthony Davis, we've got Alex Sar, and Sar's becoming like really good, you know? They're calling him Alexander Starr here in Los Angeles. Ah ha ha. But uh, yeah, Alexander Starr is becoming really good. And at this point, do we do something like this? Bring back Cade Cunningham, bring in Paolo Boncaro. I think that's what we do. We move Cade to the two guard. We have Sar start. We move, ooh, do we move? Yeah, we move Paolo to small forward, have Kessler at the five, Cooper off the bench, Duran off the bench. We've also got connect and we've got Nemhard. we're gonna move Nemhard to the one have connected the two and then yeah and then we'll move cooper to the four kispert to the three and that should do it we're gonna be ready to go or no 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 that's fine i'm over complicating things i think we are ready to go for the season we may look at trading for a star in a little bit Shout out to our guy Dalton Connect though. He's actually become really good in this video, man. I think he's up to like an 84 or something like that. Like that, that's pretty good. Now we do have to cut down the roster before the season starts. So I'm thinking we trade maybe Brogdon, Drummond. We don't really need either one of those guys at this point in time. We'll take Ben Shepard in a first. And actually we'll just cut down the roster a little bit more than we need to because there's a few players on our team who are kind of just taking up space on the roster at this point who aren't aren't really going to be playing minutes. We'll bring in Austin Reeves for the vibes. And now we are all good to go. Let's get this season underway. I'm hoping I don't have to make any trades, but I, I mean, I might have to. It just depends on how dominant we are this season. Last year we were great and we still ended up coming up short. So I, I don't want to be, you know, too complacent or anything and mess around and end up losing once again. So I'm definitely going to be aggressive when it comes to making trades. If I really feel like there's any chance we need a trade, I'm going to make a trade. We are 39 and 12 right now, currently on a one game losing streak or winning streak. So I think we got to do something here. I know we're better than everybody else, but that didn't seem to matter last season. So I want to make sure we are far and away better than everybody else, if that makes sense. Just want to make even more upgrades if that is a possibility. Now let's check out the roster, see where we could use an upgrade. Honestly, we look good everywhere, but if we could get like a better center, that would be kind of nice. I'm just going to look around the league and see who's available because if there's like a 95, 96 overall player, that's probably what we're looking for at this point in time. Wow. Stefan Castle is up to a 91. That makes me really excited for the uh, Phoenix Suns rebuild. Wow. The Suns have Curry and Book. But yeah, I'm not going to trade for Booker again. I've been doing that like every single rebuild. I don't even feel like doing it anymore, man. The Sixers are selling, but I don't want him beat us. He's just too old at this point in time. Cavs have Mobley and KP. Didn't we have KP earlier in this video? I think we did. Kawhi is still over there. Ooh, John ja Morant. I get John ja Morant occasionally in rebuilds, but like John ja would be cool, you know. We would have to trade. Would we trade Brunson or could we trade Cade and move? Uh, no, yeah. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. We could trade Cade and move Brunson to the two. It'd be a weird fit, but it's 2K, so I don't think it matter a ton. Let's see. Uh, financially, we're not there just yet. Bronny, you might have to take one for the team, my guy. I'm sorry. We could do this. Does this work? No. They're going to have to trade us a little less salary than that, so let's do this Henry do we can't do that we can do Chumo Kiki they're gonna say no that's fine I expected that but we got picks and apparently we have good picks which is you know nice whoa 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 we got good picks and that is going to do it we get John Morant I am going to say it right now that is the trade that will win us the title there's nothing else I need to do that's a championship right there man I almost guarantee it I've been posting a lot more lately. I mean, I've been posting daily on the main channel. You know, yesterday I actually missed a day because I was kind of waiting on a big trade to happen to drop a video and nothing really happened. And then I was like, oh, you know, I'll do a rebuild of the Hawks after they drafted uh, Rizache. But then I realized, oh, shoot, you know, I'll have to wait till the whole first round's over and then do the rebuild because I wanted to make sure all the first round picks were with their teams, right? First round ends, it's like 11 o'clock at night. I go to sleep and I'm like, bro, I'll just wake up at like 7 tomorrow and go ahead and 
and record my rebuilds. So that's why I didn't drop a main channel video. There will probably be multiple main channel videos today. Second channel, we already dropped the Dillingham and uh, Ant video on this channel. And then from there, we'll probably, we're probably we going to drop this video, of course. I want to do a Spurs rebuild, Grizzlies. I also want to do Wizards with Alex Sar. There's so much I want to do over here as well in terms of the rebuilds. So we'll have a bunch of those. Then we'll probably have a Bronny and LeBron video or whatever later today, assuming, you know, Bronny and Bron team up. Even if they don't, I'll probably do a video teaming them up because, you know, that'll be fun or whatever. But uh, yeah, that's kind of the game plan for today. I could see myself posting like seven, eight videos today, which is crazy. It brings me back to the days when I was doing NBA Live mobile videos when I was younger. If you all know what that game is, it's a mobile game. But uh, well, obviously it's in the name. Uh, but I was posting like three videos a day back then. And those videos were only like probably eight to 10 minutes. And already today I posted three videos. I did the first pick hawks rebuild i did the timberwolves rebuild and then this will be the third video the dalton connect video and it's not even 12 o'clock that's one of the advantages of waking up early you can just get so much more stuff going throughout your day you know what i mean it makes the day feel a lot longer 64 and 18 on the year one seed heading into the playoffs round one we're gonna take care of utah Round two, it'll be the Dallas Mavericks, and we take care. Oh, hoo -hoo! we almost blew a 3-0, but we're moving on. Next up, it'll be the OKC Thunder. You know, they're the Thunder, but I think we're actually better than them this time. We have the advantage. We're, we just, you know, we've really stacked up on talent, but it might not matter because they're OKC. It's not going to matter, is it? Yeah, well, maybe, maybe. 2K, 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 2K. Let, let's chill out. Let's not do this again. Last time, we came back all the way from 3-1 in the finals against the Pacers and then ended up losing but this time that's not gonna happen we got the lead we got a big lead oh man we're gonna do it we beat the thunder we're moving on to the finals against the magic who have guess who anthony davis oh here we go this is gonna be fire game one of the series will go to the magic game two goes to us oh no ad ad no ad no 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 <laughs> I, I'm not gonna lie, bro. I, I sold this rebuild. I completely sold this rebuild. And if I just traded away Anthony Davis and then he goes on to beat us, then that's where I'm gonna end it off. I got cooked by AD. Dalton Connect, he honestly didn't do much this entire video. He was a good overall, but that was really about it. And his rookie contract's expiring. Don't know if I'll be able to afford to bring him back. Team's getting expensive. So I think that's where we're gonna wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I failed the Lakers rebuild <laughs> my bad y'all but if you enjoyed be sure to like and subscribe have a great day and i'll see you guys in the next one peace